What's going on, YouTubers? Got some good news to display, some good anime news. The Full Metal Alchemist creator, Hiromu Arakara, had just announced that she's going to be doing a side story based solely after the Brotherhood series. The Full Metal Alchemist series that was based off the manga, you guys. Not the adaptation that they showed, like, in, I want to say, 06 or 07 on Adult Swim. She just announced that she's going to be coming out with a, a side story. It's going to be for the 20th anniversary of uh, Shonen Gonin, I want to say. Shonen Golden or Shonen, Shonen Golden is a, a monthly magazine that they issue with the Full Metal Alchemist stories and mangas and stuff. So, yeah, she's she's planning on working on that. She's been illustrating and, and doing the artwork and everything. So, look forward to that. What I think is going to be based off of, you know, the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has come to a close of, as of last year in June. You kind of see the, on the 67th episode, you know what I'm saying? In the 60, 65th to the 67th episode of the series, you see Ed, Hohenheim, and Al, you know, they're all getting together and they're going up against the father, you know what I'm saying? The dwarf in the flame or whatever you want to call it, the, the bottle. You see him, him, the father, you see the father facing Hohenheim, Ed, and Al, you know, and they're just going at it. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? It, it gets so epic, you guys. It gets so epic. You have, like, the father, he's just. OP, he's overpowered and everything. And Ed, you know, he eventually gets his arm back because he's he does himself as a um a human um a human sacrifice or whatever, and he goes right back to the gate of truth. And you know, he goes up against the god or whatever you want to call it, the all-knowing being of alchemy, and he talks to him and then you know how that uh, all-knowing being is with this trivia questions, asking the people what what they're gonna sacrifice, and Ed finally finds out and he realizes that the gate behind him, that's his gate of truth. And he has the right to like sacrifice whatever, you know what I'm saying, sacrifice his gate. And he sacrifices his alchemy in order to obtain um, Al's body. You know, he sacrifices alchemy and he regains his arm, you know, and then he comes back out and he's just all crunk and everything, using that other arm that he's been missing out for the entire series. Just, just giving it to the father, you know, and they eventually beat him or whatever. Make a long story short, they eventually beat him, you know. So later on in the series, you know, it's come to a close. Everybody's like back up to normal, you know what I'm saying? Al, he's like, you know, slowly but surely he's regained his health back, you know, because it was real withered and skinny and stuff. Yeah, and the way he puts things, that's, that's what it makes you know, lets you know that they're coming out with a side story to it or like kind of a little semi sequel to it when Al says he's going to expand his horizon and he's going to journey to the east to learn alpha history because they don't really perfect alpha history up in the um the brotherhood series so that's what lets you know that there's going to be a side story to this guys and uh it's kind of slowly but sure i think it's going to be based more on um Al because he seems like he's more like enthused to go out into the world and he's talking about um he talks about Ed wanting to expand his horizon and go journey to the west and learn things so hopefully you know it comes out in a good story I don't know how it's going to play out because you know Ed he can't use uh, alchemy anymore I don't know about Al I don't think Al can use it either since he came through the gate but um, yeah Ed, he can't use alchemy anymore, so I don't know how it's gonna play out. Like, you might, it might be based solely on, on uh, Al. But um, the I think, I hope, and I pray that they do a show or an OVA adaptation of the side story that uh, Hiromu Baraka was working on. You guys, I hope they do that because I know the animation is gonna be flawless. They're gonna come with it. And I got some other news, you guys. Madhouse Production Company has just pronounced that they're coming out with another Hajime No Evo Season 3. They're coming out with a Hajime No Evo Season 3. I think it's going to be New Challenger continued, you know, because some of you know that the uh, series ended in late 09. You know, people were pretty pissed off about it because it ended so subtle. And Evo, you know, he, he finds out, he gets so far and he finds out that, um, Kamigawa, Chief Kamigawa has been trying to prevent him from fighting Miata because he knows that the weakness to the Dempsey role is a counter punch, you know, so that right there was real epic and, and it was real good, it was a good cliffhanger, you know, they love us like 
yeah, so, you know, the, they're continuing on the artwork. The artwork is still in production, you know what I'm saying? They're working on the um, the animation and everything, and the, the dubbing is going to be there pretty soon. So, you know, look out for that. I'm guessing that it's going to be in early 2012 when, this, when the series starts to air. So maybe somebody will leak, like, some episodes of that. And I don't know if it's going to be a series or OVA. They just said look for it in the near future. It's coming. So I'm guessing 2012, a series or OVA. Look out for that. Yeah, you guys, but that's all the latest news I wanted to display to y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy S Review, and I'm signing out, and I'll see you guys later.